This is Morning Edition on KUNC. I'm Erin O'Toole. A vote is scheduled today on the Senate Finance Committee's version of a health care overhaul bill. Concerns about the cost and whether a so-called public option should be included have dominated the debate for months. But there's one element in all the proposals that hasn't gotten a lot of attention. A new health insurance marketplace called an exchange would be established to help people shop for insurance. The exchange, or gateway, depending on which version of the bill you're talking about, would serve as an information source and a purchasing vehicle for anyone not covered by their employer or by a government program like Medicare or Medicaid. The purpose of the exchange is to create a common marketplace of health insurance options that are designed to help individuals and businesses compare plans and make informed choices. Kelly Shanahan is policy director for the Colorado Consumer Health Initiative. She says the exchange would do more than just provide a list of hundreds of health insurance plans. By allowing consumers to compare plans using standardized descriptions of benefits and costs, the exchange would provide what she calls meaningful choice. It's hard to know what's covered and and what's not. It's hard to know if you've read all the fine print. And of course, we don't always know what kind of health problems we're going to have before we have them. So I, I think creating an exchange that would make it easier for us all to know um, what we're looking at, to have an apples to apples comparison can be a real positive thing. Right now, the idea of the exchange is fairly non-controversial, though there are disagreements about how they should be set up. The House version calls for a national exchange with an option for states to set up their own. The Senate bill mandates state exchanges only, but would allow states to band together to form regional exchanges. Kelly Shanahan notes a state-level exchange allows states to keep in place consumer protections that might be stronger than other states. On the other hand, she says a national exchange could bring costs down. It's the bigger pool that more people are in that you can leverage greater economies of scale. 50 smaller pools um, doesn't doesn't have the same kind of leverage that a one large pool would have. So there's really sort of pros and cons to, to either scenario. One of the questions is what a health care exchange would look like. Massachusetts Commonwealth Connector, established in 2006, is generally cited as the go-to model. It's primarily an online resource with telephone assistance available for individuals unable to negotiate the Internet. State Insurance Commissioner Marcy Morrison is watching the bills closely, since as head of the Division of Insurance, she may be designated to manage Colorado's exchange. She anticipates some growing pains no matter how the exchanges are set up, but thinks the model needs to draw from the best of both national and local policies. What are the states doing now? Where are the weaknesses? And how, federal government, can you help the states improve? Maybe standardization of certain kinds of plans make sense to be federal. Others, it makes sense to be statewide. Plans would be required to meet minimum credible coverage standards. The Senate bill essentially allows any state licensed insurer into the exchange, which could lead to more choice, but also more confusion. In the House bill, the exchange would screen the insurance plans offered, in effect giving each a stamp of approval. Colorado Consumer Health Initiative's Kelly Shanahan says the devil's in the details. And I've heard some refer to one version of the exchange as as just a flea market where all are allowed in, uh, both the junk as well as the the gems, versus uh, a world where there is is a little bit more of, of scrutiny about what's offered in this new place, and it's kind of this potential to be this stairway to, to something really positive, you know, stairway to heaven, if you will. Proponents of the Massachusetts Health Connector say it works because it appeals across political lines. The exchange combines federal funding from Medicaid with private insurance companies to offer both government-subsidized and non-subsidized plans. How to cover the costs of setting up and maintaining the exchange is an important detail that still has to be ironed out, as does an overhaul bill that both Democrats and Republicans can first agree on. For KUNC, I'm Erin O'Toole.